Hey guys, Jules here from T-Lixer. Today we're gonna geek out a little bit and get a bit scientific on you. We're gonna talk to you about beta-glucans and why they're so important in the mushrooms you're consuming. So as you guys know, mushrooms contain a whole wide variety of health constituents, otherwise you wouldn't be taking them. They've got things like sterols and triterpenoids and amino acids and antioxidants. But the interesting part is that where the science has been done on the medicinal mushrooms and, and the most important part of that is on these long chain sugars or polysaccharides that are called beta-glucans. And we're gonna go in today and explain to you the different types of beta-glucans and how some beta-glucans are more important than others. So most of the studies that have been done by scientists up till now with the beta-glucans has actually been the beta-glucans that are present in yeast. But unlike the beta-glucans that are found in seaweeds and medicinal mushrooms, they have a vastly different array of properties. So the ones that we are primarily interested in are the ones that science is studying at the moment, and this is why mushrooms are such a hot topic, and that is the beta-D glucans. Uh, these are the ones that have all these immunomodulatory, cardioprotective, hepatoprotective, antioxidant and antimicrobial activity. And these are some of the reasons why you want to be putting mushrooms like into your drinks and making them part of your daily life. So now we're going to break down the differences in the mushroom industry and there's a dirty little secret that we want to discuss so that you guys can understand that some of the mushrooms might be measuring very high on the polysaccharide reading but they're not actually the beta-glucans that we're looking for because there's another beta-glucan, which is 1,4-beta-glucan, and that's the one that's found in oats and wheat and other forms of grain. Now, why would that be relevant? Well, if you remember when we were talking about mycelium and grain, mycelium on grain is basically primarily grain because they don't actually remove the mycelium, which is grown on the grain medium, when it comes time to actually bagging it and sending it out to the customer. And this is obviously why mycelium on grain basically tastes a little bit like rice bubbles. Now, why that's important is because when you do a polysaccharide reading, which some companies do, they'll have very high polysaccharide readings, right? but they're not the polysaccharides we're actually looking for. They're those one, four beta glucans, right? or there are these other glucans which have an alpha link, which are known as alpha glucans. Now, primarily most of the glucans that you find, while there is beta glucans in grains, are these alpha glucans, and they really have no health use whatsoever. So it's a really, really important thing to know. In fact, in 2016, there was a study done, and they basically bought up a whole bunch of products off Amazon, and pretty much all of them came back with high polysaccharide readings, except that the polysaccharides, when they broke the beta glucans down, were primarily these 1,4 beta glucans or these alpha glucans, which as I said before, we're really not interested in. Okay, so now we get down to the testing and this is the most important thing to understand because as we've gone through, we now understand that there's different types of beta glucans and some of them have incredible benefits and while other ones are really just negligible. Now here's the problem in the current testing is that most tests are testing for these beta glucans that we don't actually care for or want or are present in foods that are completely different from the ones that we actually want. So if we're testing for mushrooms and they've got high polysaccharides or even beta-glucan readings, those readings are actually skewed to the grains that they're grown on. So in Ireland, they've recently created this new system which is called the Megazyme test. And that Megazyme test is basically testing for those beta-D glucans, the ones that we're actually looking for that are present in the fruiting bodies of mushrooms, not the ones that are grown on a grain medium. So there's actually some other tests you guys can do at home with iodine where you can test for the starch levels, mostly for the alpha glucans, not for the beta glucans. And we might do another video about that to show you how to do that. But really, primarily, it's important to understand that here at t Lixar, right, we are fully transparent and we use the Megazyme test so we can actually genuinely see the beta glucan levels that we have in our mushrooms. So guys, if you want a more comprehensive understanding as to why you want mushrooms that are not grown on grain, please do check out our other video, what you need to know before buying any mushroom supplement.